What is going on, Sneaker Talk family? Welcome back to a brand new Japan vlog. We're here in Osaka. We're actually at the Kansai airport, and I just arrived here. I had a drink before coming here, so I'm feeling pretty good. I would feel like crap if I didn't drink coming here, honestly, because my flight got delayed by six whole hours. Six hours, man. So I have a, I feel a little tipsy right now. Coming here, my flight was actually delayed by four and a half hours. So like imagine your flight being delayed immensely both times, ridiculous. Probably never gonna fly United Airlines again. Just a heads up, this stuff is apparently very common with United Airlines. But yeah, we're here at Kansai Airport. There's a lot of shopping that can be done. And there's also a, a premium outlet nearby that has stores like Nike, Coach, Stussy. A Stussy outlet? Yeah, they have that. Please join me on this uh, this tipsy, probably drunk, honestly. This fun outlet vlog here in Japan while we kill some time before my flight to uh, Toronto. Came here two hours early because I was scared I was going to be late. So I have about eight hours to kill here at the airport. Yeah. So I found what looks like a Marvel gift shop. Like they got a ton of Marvel stuff. Now I'm not huge into the Marvel universe, but if I was, this would be the go-to store for it. Honestly, they got everything from mugs to these like dolls, to slippers, to socks. Yo, your sock game gotta be strong if you're into sneakers. Let's be honest, people. But yeah, we got boxes too, okay. If there's a thing that you could give as a gift, they have it marvel marvelized. Is that marvelized? They got Shin-Chan pillows, what? If you guys don't know, Shin-Chan's like a comedy anime and it's one of my favorite animes. It's so lighthearted and fun. It, basically documents the life of a young child and living in Japan and it's freaking hilarious. I watched it in high school when I would cook myself Nutella sandwiches for lunch. This is Shin Chan Heaven. I've never seen so much Shin Chan merchandise in my entire life. This is Shin Han Shin Heaven. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the socks. Look at the socks. Yo, look at Godzilla. And then you can see his butt. Shin Chan underwear. Is this men's size? I might have to buy this if it's men's sizing. If it's kid sizing, it's a different story. But this is like an adult cartoon. And you guys know how they like dub animes to translate them to English? Well, Shin Chan, when they when they dub it into English, they like change the the context and the dialogue to make it more relatable for the Western audience so it's still funny. Because comedy is very different based off the region you're in. And they do a really good job. For the dub i really want to buy socks and underwear but i don't know if it's for kids or not i swear it's not a kid's anime it's definitely a um i was gonna say a manly anime but yeah, let's let's get going to the next door all right so i'm about to have another drink i just want to show you guys what i'm drinking now this is the uh curran meets pocky if you guys know pocky they are the amazing chocolate stick brand they also have a strawberry flavor and they made a strawberry flavor alcohol beverage which is really really cool so i managed to find the main pokemon store in kansai airport it's actually pretty big there was a small booth on the floor below me which had a couple of items happy i didn't buy anything there but check it out they have so much stuff here like they have the new plushies and by plushies i mean new pokemon but their plushy form from the sword and shield pokemon games that just came out looks like this one's selling pretty well then they have the red dude and then the water type honestly he he's my favorite but i like him second and then this dude's third but charmander will always be the greatest starter of all time they got a few gachupons down below here too jumbo pokemon plushy stuff here Ooh, a pillow look they got a, a volpix pillow with a this is this is a bougie pillow check the back of the pillow Ooh. might have to get this for the condo damn okay rokon and kukon kayukon is that how you pronounce nine tails and volpix in japanese and then this is sick they have a pikachu that's like a kansai airport exclusive they got the KIX, that's like the, the airport code YYZ is Toronto, so KIX is can size. That's actually really, really dope. And these go for 1760 yen, so not bad. Just about like $20 Canadian for a cute little airport collectible. I mess with it. The one thing that sticks out to me is Pikachu's butt. Check it out. These are AC adapters for your, your wall outlet. So you can plug in your USB, but it's $25 US or so for Pikachu's butt to stick out of your wall. I don't know how I feel about that. This is what I live for, Pokemon tins. The last time I picked up a really cool Pikachu tin from my cookies, and uh, I might have to grab this, honestly. It's 1300 yen for this, but I don't even want whatever's inside. I just want the tin, so we're gonna grab this bad boy and check this out. They have another one with a bunch of the evolutions. so, oh, it's, it's a bunch more cookies. So inside of this Pikachu and Eevee one, they have these little cookies or little, little things, pastries you could call them. And then inside of here, they have evolution cookies so i'm gonna have to grab one of these I'm gonna have to grab one of these it's a good day to be a pokemon fan this is sick too man they have these really cool you know that like japan print you always see with the, with the wave tsunami or whatever they got pokemon on it 
Lugia, Lapras, Squirtle, Coruscant, all these dudes are on it. This is so cool. These are uh, 800 yen, basically 750. They got three different versions. And oh my, these are all like insanely cool collectibles. And I just, because I'm looking for like things I can put in my condo when I move in, I'm looking for any excuse to buy anything cool that will will match my aesthetic or just make me feel happy in my, my spot. So I think we'll grab this one here and then we're also going to grab the uh, the golden Pikachu one too. They have so much trading card stuff here too, it's crazy. So all these packs are 165 yen. One thing I always do when I come to Japan is buy packs of Pokemon cards. This one here, because they got the starters right here. This one, because they got the legendary birds. This one, because it got, it got Lugia on it. Two Detective Pikachu ones, because these are really, really cool. Uh -oh. Educate his mind, arm yourself, and be free and, and defend yourself. This stuff right here might be my favorite. It's like Pokemon, find China, take my money. I'm just gonna buy these uh these expensive chopsticks, these Pikachu branded chopsticks, and I'm also going to buy a plate. So this is the plate right here. One plate. I'm hyped. I've never bought a plate before, so <laughs> my first plate purchase. There we go. Okay, so I just dropped Pokemon. All right, so I just dropped eighty dollars here at the Pokemon store here in Kansai Airport. There's a Muji store here too. I'm probably gonna be a good boyfriend and buy my girlfriend some stuff here, and then we'll get going to the outlet. So, yeah, I'll probably bore you guys with Muji shopping. I'll meet you guys at the outlet. So the very first store we're going to be going to is called United Arrows. Now it is a pretty big, I want to say, department kind of store in Japan. Now a lot of the sneakers were at a pretty good discount like these Puma Thunder Spectras. They had a few different colorways all for about 50% off of retail price. They also had two different colorways of the Nike M2K Techno, the dad shoe, the evolved form you could say of the, uh, the Air Monarchs. One shoe that really caught my eye were these Bape football cleats right here. These Bape cleats were really, really dope and I've never actually seen Bape sneakers at an outlet before so this was really cool to see these were going for 18,200 yen and they had a couple of sizes available and taking a look at the other lifestyle sneakers they had they had some van skate highs with the uh, the comfy kush insole i believe these felt very very light for 4,000 yen pretty solid price and some puma parallel xos these were actually 70 percent off so a really really great price on these right here next up we'll take a look at the puma outlet that they had here and this puma outlet was definitely better than the last puma outlet we were at 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 the uh, the Mitsui outlets in Osaka. So here's a look at the Puma Thunder Spectras they had available. They had a couple of different colorways, both for 7,500 yen each. Pretty decent colorways, I want to say. I want to say they're pretty high up there in terms of like the tier list if you were going to rank the different colors available. Next up, we have some more Puma Dad shoes. I think these are the Cell Venom model, and they had a few different colorways available, two with different colors. So they have this red and navy blue one. They have this blue and orange one, which gives me some Mega Man Battle Network vibe. And then they also had a simple all black colorway and a simple pure white colorway. And all of these Puma Cell Venoms were 6,500 yen each. And the last two Puma sneakers at this cell that were some pretty cool Puma suede. I'm not sure about the exact name for this uh, special special version, I want to say. But they had this really cool satin kind of material uh, on the side right here on the logo. Pretty dope. So they had two different colorways again, the navy blue with hits of gold. And then they also had the, uh, the gray one with hits of black and gold. Next up, we have the Adidas cell let. Now, the last time we were here, I'll leave the video linked down below in a card in the top right hand corner. We found some of the cheapest Ultra Boost I've ever seen in my life. Now the awesome thing about this outlet was a majority of items were 50% off including sneakers and apparel. So whatever sale price you guys saw on the shelf, it was pretty much an extra 50% off that. And on top of that, there was a stackable discount which is always clutch, especially at outlets. So if you spent 10,000 yen or about 100 US dollars, it would give you actually 3,000 yen back. So 30 US dollars. So let's start off with the Adidas Night Jogger. 
here they had this pure white colorway you could call it for 4450 yen they also had some other colorways available here so here's just a look at the other one next up we have two different colorways of the adidas nmd these were going for about 18,900 yen with 50% off now onto my favorite section of the adidas outlet the ultra boost they had a bunch of different adidas ultra boost here so here's a look at the older models the snl they use sort of more lifestyle materials on these like leather and suede not really a version of the ultra boost you really want to run in so they had two different colorways right here for half price of 18,000 yen these are the snls the red and the blue ones now the ultra boost 19s they are dirt cheap here as well they had so many ultra boost 19s a lot of different colorways a lot of different sizing available and all of these were 5,000 500 yen that is an insane steel price for adidas ultra boost guys and they even had the og ultra boost 19 i paid full retail for this this was like i think 190 or 200 us dollars at full retail and these were going for 55 us dollars that is insane sort of regret buying mine but sort of don't but you know when you when you see a sneaker that you own at the l and you pay full price you always get that sort of buyer's regret or buyer's remorse next up we're going to the main highlight of today's vlog the nike L that so let's go inside and check it out so starting off with these we got the nike air max plus or air max uh, tns and these are really really dope i gotta say one of the best colorways i've seen at a nike outlet unfortunately i don't remember the price i couldn't find it they also had a different version of the air max plus or tn this is sort of a digi camo colorway now on to some sneakers i have prices of we have the air max 270 reacts these were going for 10,600 yen we have a pink colorway of the air max 98 these were going for 7,000 yen. We have a, another Air Max 98. This is a triple black colorway with some reflective hits going for 13,000 yen. Next up, we have one of my favorite Air Max 97s, this carbon blue, I like to call them, because these have a blue upper with hits of carbon fiber throughout the sneaker. Very dope. These are going for 10,000 yen, and we've often seen them on sale at stores at the mall, like Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, etc., etc. On to some more Air Max 97s. We have this really cool aqua colorway of the Air Max 97s for 50 15,000 yen and then on to the next colorway this is a pretty dope pair sort of like a laney colorway with the yellow and navy blue these are going for 14,000 yen and here's a look at the rest of the air max 720s they had these were all going for 10,600 yen now on to probably the best sneaker at the nike outlet today we have the nike air force one type this is the heavily heavily inspired by off-white air force ones that nike did it's even been told like on the websites where you buy these shoes that it is an off-white inspired air force one as you can tell with the the double midsoles and the random straps on the side and the foam tongue a lot of different parts of the shoe do pull from the nike off-white air force ones and so that's why we're going to call them sort of the air force one off-whites on a budget these were going for 13,000 yen next up we have a bunch of nike element react i believe 87s and uh, this shoe lost so much hype there was so much hype for this shoe for the first initial waves the first initial colorways that came Came out and then all the hype just plummeted like no one was really buying them at all i think maybe the element 55 that does not have that sort of see-through upper they they made a lot more colorways and a lot more sales for those but here's a different look at the uh, the element react 87s with a bunch of different colorways now we're going to the hash wall where we can try and find some hidden steels some hidden gems starting off with some nike air max 97s we have this sort of plaid colorway these were going for 13,000 yen we also got some air jordan a now this is that like reflective pack that they did these didn't sell very well and they actually went on sale at a lot of stores like full locker for like 30 to 40 percent off so these were on sale for 20,000 yen and this was the only pair of uh retros i want to see i found at the outlet beside the threes i'll show you guys later in the video and then they also had these really dope air max pluses on the hash wall for 14,000 yen i like this colorway i like the red air unit on the inside definitely one of the best colorways for the air max plus i've seen at the outlets and then they also had some lebron now the lebron surprised me i was not expecting to find these i think these are the lebron threes please correct me if i'm wrong i, I probably am wrong when it comes to the lebrons i didn't really pay attention to them to the nine or ten here's a look at some very very positive and radiant air max 97s right here this yellow colorway was really cool to find we also had some air max 95s in this sort of candy cane colorway for the uh, for the winter and they had the mocha air jordan 3 for 16,000 yen this was definitely one of the uh, the more 
underrated sneaker releases of the year or last year. When did these come out? It's been a while. Um, I think these came out this year, but definitely one of the more underrated Air Jordan 3s. Again, 16,000 yen for these bad boys. All right, so we are back at the airport right now. I was waiting in sort of a premium lounge for the last three or four hours. And uh, just as I was about to check in to my flight at midnight, the security guards tell me I can't check in because my flight that was delayed six hours has now been delayed a full 24 hours. So I am furious right now, really, really annoyed. Never fly United, that, that is the moral of the story. Never fly United. But yeah, hopefully you guys had an amazing day. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below what your favorite sneaker was from today's video. And if you guys haven't seen the Japan vlogs, check out the playlist, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I'm feeling really crappy, but I hope you guys aren't. Never, ever fly United. Nightmare Airlines. I heard Sprint was bad, but we, I'm from Canada. We don't have Sprint. United is the worst thing, in my opinion. So fly Air Canada, fly Cathay Pacific, fly... Don't fly American Airlines. They've screwed me over more than once. I think Delta is the last safe company for me to fly with. So anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end, comment down below. Stay strong, Christian, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.